Hey, watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers, and excited to share with you today the brand new, just released this week, Tudor Pelagos FXD GMT Edition, also affiliated with the Marine National. You get the logo here on the strap. Again, if you're not familiar with the FXD, the FXD is the fixed, uh, you call them spring bars or the lug strap, the bars there, you can see they're fixed. There's, there's no spring there. Uh, part of that titanium case, uh, again, so... Happy to come in and just saw we got one of these. I got to tell you guys, Tudor does their marketing right. I wish more brands would do it the way Tudor does it for, at least for me and uh, the purposes of this channel, is anytime there's a new release, nine times out of 10, within the 24 hours, 48 hours after that release, I get one unit um, here in store for inventory that I get to review, I get to share with you guys. Um, and then I will admit that sometimes I won't see another one of these for a couple months. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if I don't see this again until after the holidays here uh, in the US, which would be another two months from now. Uh, occasionally with some models, we will get an extra one. But uh, again, this is the only one I got. So I know we've had a, a, quite a bit of interest for this. Uh, and I do apologize. This will be probably the only one we have till the end of the year if I had to guess. Um, so try to make as many people happy. Tough to do that when there's higher demand than uh, supply with this one that we have here. But specs on this. 42.7 millimeters is what I got diagonally across the case above those crown guards. And the exact same 42.7 across the bezel 3 to 9. It's the same dimension because essentially I'm getting that bezel. So across the bezel... 42.7. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say if you go across the case, uh, Tudor has it listed as 42 millimeters. That's probably what you're going to get across the case. The bezel does overhang a little bit there. And then I got 32 millimeters even from 3 to 9 or the 6 to 18 there across that sapphire crystal. So the crystal itself at 32 millimeters, uh, very, uh, well, first off, very legible, but again, not a huge crystal. 13.1 millimeters thick. 14.1 if you add the NATO. So again, the NATO straps from Tudor are uh, almost always exactly one millimeter or 1.1 millimeter. Uh, so 14.1 with the NATO. We have 50 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. However, with the NATO across those fixed uh, lugs there, I'm going to tell you 53.4. I'm going to call that an effective lug to lug. So you can see it sticks out a little bit further than the lugs. 53.4 does not I don't find it noticeable while I'm wearing it or on wrist, so I don't find it to be, um, I feel like 50 is more of a kind of a true size on this as far as lug to lug. 22 millimeter lug width, no taper, so 22 millimeters here at the titanium um, tang or pin style buckle. You do have a solid case back, and I will show this to you quick with uh, what you would expect here, the MN in the year 2024 here. So you see the MN24 Marine National. And again, underneath there, we have the caliber MT5632-U. That is the Matos certified GMT movement from Tudor. 65 hours of power reserve. We have a signed screw-down crown, 200 meters of water resistance. And gang, on this really nice uh, green NATO, only weighs 79 grams. So 42 millimeter watch, it's titanium, very light, very wearable. Retail price on this. I know a few people have already been asking. I'm sure you probably looked online already. $46.25. Absolutely love the orange on the GMT hand there. In some lighting, I was trying to tell if it was still the red Pelagos text. I do think they matched that. Um, looking at it here through my camera. It does look like the Pelagos text and that hand are the same color to my eye. But uh, you could probably convince me otherwise if you have a better eye than me. Regardless... I love it. The bi-directional GMT bezel here is what you would expect on your GMT. So overall, I think it's a fantastic package. Let's throw this guy on wrist. Again, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. I'm going to take my gloves off here to hopefully expedite this process. And uh, the one thing I got to tell you is the floating keeper um, is removable uh, the, uh, with that Marine National logo on it. If you want to take it off, you certainly can. I actually like it quite a bit, and uh, when I show you here in a second, I find that it holds the NATO quite well, too. So um, I personally would not be removing this. I um, hope you can see what I see. I have just enough, again, six and three quarter inch wrist tang that, uh, or, or tail, I should say, is hanging out here that I would certainly leave that in. But uh, again, you guys know the channel. I don't love larger watches. I usually love that 38 to 40 is kind of my sweet spot, occasionally 36, 37. But I got to tell you, as light as this is, 
at 42 and uh, not on um, a bracelet or anything, I would absolutely wear this. Um, I don't find it to be uh, too large on my wrist. Um, I think the size is appropriate given what it is and what it's supposed to be used for, um, for pilots, uh, for that um, uh, Navy there for uh, the French Marine Nationale. So again, I got to tell you, I think it looks great. I've rambled on long enough. I certainly wanted to get a video out. I'm sure this won't be here very long. As always, if you have any questions or is there anything I can do for you, please reach out. Let me know. Contact information is in the description. Let me show you the loom real quick. Love how you get that loom bezel. And uh, it looks like the bezel is green and the markers and hands are blue. Again, sorry, I have a computer monitor on here that I've been having a difficult time turning off, but hopefully that gives you a good sense of what you're looking at on that loom. So as always, thanks for viewing. Let me know what you think of the new Tudor Pelagos FXD GMT model. I'll see you in the comments.